Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. This is the game where you will build steampunk airships, landships, static defences and either fight in a campaign setting like now the conquest mode or in a single player skirmish or multiplayer. It's a fairly full feature game that I featured several times and have many 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 hours on and because of a latest update I thought it would be a decent time to play a bit of the campaign so that's what I've done. I've started up the uh, conquest mode and we're going to be going through. We are the Genericans on the top left hand side as you can see and hopefully we'll conquer everything to the bottom right although to be fair as history has taught us that's probably not going to go entirely well I have knocked the difficulty down to easy easy breezy and it's not going to be uh, overly easy but it's going to be uh, certainly less of a sledging than the last time I tried this because essentially what happens is they can sort of um, gang, gang together and then you know you're versing like all of them and it's really really difficult but I wanted to play it a bit of breezy easy because of the latest update if I go to these design ships. We can now see there are ships and decorations on the left hand side. Now this was something that was added in several mod packs by different people but uh, now you can make like um, ships that actually look things, well they, they look better than just a cube uh, because I, I was you know criticised and indeed rightly many times uh, for making ships that are just a cuboid type thing and now we can change that by having these uh, lovely ships. I mean there's lots of them as you can see there's a lot, a lot of ships here. Uh, we've also, that's shapes and decoration, we've also got structure, we've got stained glass windows and things like that. So there's been a lot of stuff added so you can make stuff other than just a big brick. And you've got things like double sail, that's really, really cool as well. And there's also been improvements in things like the weapons. So, I mean, Aerial Torpedo, by the way, yes, my empire is the one that gets the Aerial Torpedo to start with because it's my favourite weapon in the game. But also things like the dorsal turret, look at that, that's much more pronounced. It was just a stick originally, but now it's... Uh, fairly decent. I don't think that's changed the Imperial Cannon. Uh, the Flak Cannon has, as you can see, it's uh, a lot bigger now. It used to just be a little stick, but yeah, there's a lot more detail in that one. And I appreciate all this. This is just uh, nice little extras. Even just the standard cannon. Uh, the good old-fashioned cannon. Yeah, it's got some more length. So, cool. Right, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be... Um, I'm going to be going along, um, building things, attacking, and all of that sort of thing. The idea is to take uh, your suggestions and designs and then hopefully implement them, and they might be better than mine. Oh, sorry, no, that's not correct. They definitely will be better than mine because uh, I tend to make them fairly terrible. So what I want to do is make... Um Probably every episode we'll make something and then test it on the next one. But let's see. How, let's just see how we go. For this one, I want to make um, something with aerial torpedoes because it's my favourite. Now, I'm going to make something that is probably going to be fairly cheap, I hope, um, but something that's uh, not just a cube. And I'm going to call it the underbite. I've already decided that because we're going to have like a sort of a sticky thing pointing out the bottom. Now, originally the idea was to make something like a brute ram ship, which is a warmer 40,000, well, technically it's Battlefleet Gothic um, orc thing. Uh, it's got like a big um, blade underneath and I like the look of that. I always think it was a really cool looking vessel. So I want to make something like that. So we're going to go to ships and decorations straight away. And we're going to see what we can do to have that. In fact, there we go, curve front straight straight away. Something like that is what we want. And then we'll have something underneath this, whether it just be, I think you can just mix, there's just square sections, yeah, filler block. And you just have like a filler block that goes like that. Yeah, we'll see if we can alter that somewhat, maybe curve it around or something. What we'll probably do, we'll make the structure and then, see this is all sort of new to me, making something that actually looks fairly decent. Um, so I'm trying to make something that looks okay but still functions and it's going to be a bit of a balance act. So I think the idea is that we we have a yeah, we we have a grandiose plan. We then have to build the mechanical part and then try and make it look good. But yeah, you know, look, make sure you don't lose the big picture and miss the small picture. Ah, it's going to be difficult. Anyway, let's just go for this. Guns. Always go for guns first is uh, the general rule. Ammo will go right next to it. I don't care about secondary explosions on this one. It's going to be fairly small, hopefully cheap ship. If we can get it for 800 or less, then I'll be quite happy. In fact, that's probably far too much ammo for the size of the vessel. So we'll go down to a small ammo store, one, two. There we go. Still, I don't have connections between these two to go up and around, so I'm going to probably pull them back like so. And then we're going to have a corridor that goes up. So we'll go to basic, and it will be there. So one, two, three, like that. There's a corridor. Could have uh, stained glass, but I don't think so. Actually, that's wrong. There's now corridor. That's, I need corridor with ladder. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, there we are. Uh, we're not going to have a fire point. We're not going to have a bridge, but we do need some way of keeping this thing in the air because that generally distinguishes, distinguishes land ships from um, airships. 
and we are after all making an airship so it'll be in lift and we've got a huge suspendium chamber which is new and we've got all these suspendium dust tank end caps oh that's very pretty Oh, that's naughty. That looks very, very nice indeed. But we're going to go with a small suspendium chamber, which will give us a service ceiling of 134 meters. If we can stick, a, probably stay a lowest half, maybe half that, 70 meters, is what I'll be happy with. So there's our lift there. Then what I'll do is have resources, then we'll have a coal store, and I want to put a small coal store there and small coal store there, and then behind it I'll have a supply hatch probably, actually no, probably there, and then just above that we will have a... Mm, have some propulsion perhaps, and I think we'll have a small propeller which will go there. We, again, we don't need this to be fast, it's just going to be a sort of bombarding type vessel. Um, that's not too bad however uh, service ceiling oh it's going to be quite low isn't it once we get the other stuff in okay we might reduce the coal amount then and put that in there and then that there then that should connect it up although no that's a problem because it doesn't connect up at all so maybe that there and that there but we don't have access down to the bottom so again that's a problem these however do have access down to the bottom so that and that and that will function it does however mean getting to the engine you're gonna have to go in here and up a ladder but mm, I can handle that I think I can manage that so we'll have a we'll have a probably supply hatcher there that should be fine we want some command and crew we're gonna go for a cockpit which will just go behind there we will have a crow's nest there because they're always useful I think there's been improvements made to them lines they do look a bit better yeah yeah the little yeah there has been yeah fairly sure in terms of crew, it is minimum crew 8, so I guess what's a recommended crew? It does not say. Does it not say? No. No water, no repair. Well, we're not going to have either of those. Quarters can go right in the back there, and oh, there we go. Crew 12, recommended 12. Done. That's it. That is our vessel. It will... Um, oh, the ship has several disconnected parts. That means this, I'm guessing. Yes, it does. Okay, so now we can just put the decoration on. Uh, the service ceiling is 62 meters. It's a little bit below what I wanted, though. Okay, let's just go to lift and see what else we can put on there. We've got a small suspendium chamber. We've got a suspendium dust tank, which is far too big. Large suspendium. We've got a dust cap. No. Pressurized, uh, pressurized tank is just waiting for you to explode and die so we're not going to have that it would be nice to have a little like a balloon on the bottom like rotate these round 90 degrees but uh, that's not going to happen i guess i guess we'll have to deal with 62 meters it's also quite cheap as well let's just see what happens when we put the decoration on and if it's garbage then we'll then we'll delete it and completely start again <laughs> i'm not no i'm not deleting this okay so we'll go for curve front so we'll do that and make it a little bit curvier um, on the back, uh, look at that large prow, no, we don't want that at all. We do want a round corner top, and then round corner, uh, probably a round corner bottom, like that. Uh, we've got a red lantern as well, which you can put on the, like, the outside and stuff, but, um, we'll, we'll check, can you put it on the outside? No, you can't, but it does say you can, hang on. Uh, decoration, it's definitely not going on there. I mean, immediately you can tell, it, it's just improved, just much improved because of the uh, the way this is. In fact, you know what? I was originally going to go with the idea of um, the idea of like a like a ram there, but if we have a curve like that, it's going to look fairly good, I think. Uh, so what else have we got? We've got spikes. Uh, okay then, um, perhaps not. Can they do anything? Pointy bits. Thanks for the description of that one. <laughs> Round lantern. Yes, yeah, so you can have it like hovering off the bottom there. Nice. You know what? It might just be a case of uh, that. Although I don't like that front bit there. That's not terrible. Look at that. Service ceiling, too low. Too low. 32 metres. Nah. Can't do it. Can't do it. These these are too heavy, these bits. These filler, block do, uh, filler blocks do have weight. So, we will probably um, alter the design somewhat. Move that to there, that to there, that to there, that to oh, there and there, I'll have two of those in, mm, there and there, no, that's wrong, um, there and there, and there, that's better, that's better, there we go, 
and we still kept the overall shape of it. Sadly, I can't go make something go up and over, like, around there. It's just not going to happen. But, yeah, it's not the underbite, but it's got some curve to it. Um, we could sort of try and do something about there, maybe. What else have we got? Figurehead with scepter. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, there's some nice nice bits in here. We're not going to do that. Is there any domed bits? A nice domed bit on the bottom would look quite good. Um, what the hell is that? Crowcatcher ram. That's a new one. And a spike ram. Ooh. <laughs> Those are going to be utilised at some point. Structural. No. No. I do like them sails. Them double sails look very nice. Lift, no. Command and crew, no. Aircraft, no. Basic, no. Okay, so it's gonna. If is there not a dome? Oh, there is a dome. There's a dome there. There are domes. Is there not a bottom dome then? If there is, I can't see it. Darn. Yeah. Dome on top. Okay, that's fine. Um, if we wanted to, we could do something like that, and then. Pull these back. Hmm, it's not going to fit. Actually, you know what? What you might fit? One there, one there. That looks strange. But if we put some cylindrical lanterns on it, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> I was going to say we could have it, uh, every floating away. And those are not connected. Actually, technically, I think they are. Doesn't say they're not, but that's not. No, it's not going to work. Um, does it look silly from this point? Yes, it really looks. It really looks terrible in every way. Uh, <laughs> as I said, I'm just trying these bits out. I just want to see uh, what it would be like. Um, we could put the bow on there. No, I, I like the curved bits. I like the curved bits. So. Yeah, we'll just go with filler block towards the end, and then we'll curve it round on the back. Like we have done previously. But the beautification is good. Ooh, light block down. Um, one there. One there. One there. One there. I like that because it, they look they like so, look like sort of hover hover engines. Oh yes, we're going with that one. Okay. So service ceiling 92 meters. I think we can get a bit of the old reinforced wooden armor on that bang. Oh no. <laughs> Minus four. No, we're not making a mole machine, even though it does look uh, a bit sort of molish. So no, we're not gonna do that one. What about steel wall or steel armor? Uh, steel armor would fit on the wall. Is uh, uh, minus ten generic approval points. No, that's not working out. Too too little blast. Um Wooden armor we go then, I think. Let's check. Wooden armor uh, absorbs one blast damage, three piercing damage, HP 35. Wall is HP 27, so it's got a little bit less. It does weigh less, but it's five piercing. Uh, sorry, five blast and three piercing. So steel wall just better. Is that what it's telling me? So, well, it absorbs a bit more. Not, not as much HP. Does it change the speed of it? No, just the height. Apparently steel's lighter. Well, thinner, I guess. You're going to have to have more plank. Steel armour. No, it is just... Pretty, no. Okay, steel wall. Reinforced wooden armour's great. But it's also heavy. Okay, steel wall. So, decoration. Oh, there's flames now. Oh, back up. Oh, no. oh look at this ornate crest and everything. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, gold leaves as well. Oh, gold leaves. Do you want to do that? Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> um, and a flag. Oh, yes, these actually... Um, are physical as well, they'll, they'll move around when it goes left and right. Let's put it on the back there. Um, well, we're going to have to put an eye on it, obviously. Got a round, no, we actually got an eye as well. So, put it there. Not going to put it there. No, you won't be able to see it. 
There. And then a mouth. Or a small mouth might be better. No, no, it's definitely not better. Okay. Well, it is. It is the. Um. The Gav pig. It's the pig. It, it is the pig. <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna call. I was gonna call it the swine, but no, I think that's. <laughs> I think that's the deal. Okay, save design. It's the uh, G, uh, the Gav um, generic airborne vessel or airship vessel. Save, build. How expensive is it? Um, not very is the answer to that one. Right, unpause it and then die immediately. So, you can see there's many different empires around here. On our island, which is Oop North, you can see we've got one, two, three, um, three different empires. And those are all separate. Now, as soon as we move, this guy will probably attack. Our our plan is to uh, go to build ship, and we're going to build the pig again. It's 900, plus a bit of change. The, the idea is to try and take this island first. You can see this line here represents uh, like a boat path, boat path, uh, a um, a sailing path. So you can go from one to the other, but only if you control both ports. You can't make like a beach landing or anything. Uh, immediately, this guy is taken over someone else, but then he's lost his uh, space. The problem that we tend to have is when one empire takes over a lot of others. That's that's always an issue. But anyway, um, we will continue on and see what we can do. Uh, as long as I've got a couple of pigs, we've also got a centipede there as well. Uh, are these going to invade there? That's a problem because now we can we can connect there. I'm going to keep building. A sh I'm going to keep building the ships until we get um, everything sorted. We also have the other vessels that we've made previously, um, which is the which is the like uh, bombard and the bomber and the lank and the ram ship and things like that. And they were hit and miss, hit and miss. But we're just going to build loads of pigs, because we can. So, oh, looks like that guy's moving, so there's all kinds of stuff going on there. I do have a nest there that could spawn, one behind me as well. So, I think I'll pause it there, and next episode we'll actually try these pigs out by trying to assault this area, probably. Because then at least he hasn't got a foothold, and then hopefully we'll go down this way. These two guys, I don't have to worry about. They've sorely made ground ships which means they can only attack each other on this uh, pathway here so I don't have to worry about those for the time being this guy is headed back there I could assault that if I take it out I then control it and that immediately gets destroyed it depends on the speed though so we'll see either that one or that one I'm, I'm thinking this one but as soon as I move you can pretty much guarantee he'll start assaulting me I do have some defenses as you can see I've got the um, very big um, white lookout, I believe it is called. If I go to build building, it is the oh no, sorry, the uh, oh, it is a white lookout. Yes, it is the white lookout. That's what I've got there. Anyway, we're going to leave that, and next episode we will hopefully be able to attack one of these successfully. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.